Hello again. Uh, now, uh, just just like with this um, animate thing, uh, which we used, uh, which we created using this generalized dialog. This project actually has no further use. It turns out. Well, I could make it a separate project in Combi. I might do that. <clears throat> I'd like to uh, do the same sort of thing with a uh, window. It's, you know, the, one of those window windows, not a dialog window, but just a basic window. So um, I'm going to, this, this is, I guess, uh, I'm going to make a new project. And what I'm going to do, when I'm done with it, I'll continue, I'll, uh, when I figure out what to do, I'll continue with the rest of this video. This project will be called Window. Just for your basic window. There it is. And, uh, compiler. Space. Existing project. And, uh, and there it is. So starting with nothing but a Windows program. That was the debug Unicode. Okay, ready to go. I'll continue with this video later. And now on the second step in this window thing, <coughs> I realized I wanted to look at these window styles. Create window. I think I'm thinking of this windproc and then create window. No, no. No, I'm on line two, and so I look in the help about going styles, and uh, I don't know if I can get it up again. Anyway, I figured, well, you know, why don't I just make a little, a little pop up? Maybe I can add to this, to these tools here too, so I can just have easy access to those styles. Last style. Of course it's not, not in here. Uh, oh wait, is this it? Oh yeah. Yeah, so what I did was I just I copied all this text. Here up to the end. Maybe there's more. And then I copy that data into this table here. Doesn't have carriage returns or anything. This isn't working. I don't know why I can just get rid of it. And so then I then I thought I'd make this little Thing that I can easily, if I can add it to one of these menus, I can look at the styles easily. Let's see, it's this little site called Style Chooser. And you choose one of these things, and then it tells you a little bit about it. You know. Sometimes it's a lot, sometimes it's less. So that meant I, I had to implement this. Um, this here thing is called a combo box. And uh, see, I've, I've declared one here. 
So that means um, I add, I've added now to the dialog class a, a few like standard standard types of uh, things: combo box, list box, where are they? Uh, a menu. Now that doesn't have to be in a or a dialog, so but anyway, I'm calling this a control combo box, and you see all these functions here, which are very similar to this list box thing get cursor, get index, blah blah blah. Well, all these functions are a, dir are a direct map. To some well, uh, macros, but this is like send message, send message, send message. So, and I, I grabbed all this code from uh, MFC. Like they're, they're, they have a thing called a combo, a C combo box, and a C list box, and they have a set of uh, functions. Some of whom I don't know like, what to do about. But I've done something about this bit. Here it says implementation found in VC6 source files, which is where I usually go look for their, for the way they do it. Because uh, the 2005 version suddenly got a little bit too. Complicated. Now, where did I put that? And then, uh, followed by about uh, an hour's worth of me searching and searching, uh, and then eventually reinstalling uh, version 6 and getting re extracting the source code and re uninstalling it. <laughs> and then eventually discovering that that's not where I actually got that source code from. I got it from this version. See, here it is. It's not in the other one. It doesn't have uh, it doesn't have the INL inline files in there for some reason. <sighs> and then um, editing these video files uh, brought up the following rant. rant. Uh, it's, on, it's very short, and, but I'll include it if it bothers me. And uh, it should bother you too, and, and, it, and you should complain to Microsoft about these sorts of things. Oh, did you hear what I just said? I didn't get it from the MFC thing. I mean, the old MFC, I got it from here. And, uh, and uh, upcoming is a 20 second or so rant. Uh, uh, about me getting mad about these these dialog boxes, uh, which I hate, and uh, and I don't know where to complain about it. You know, I I I have every setting on my computer set like to inform them supposedly of how I use the system. You know, like what I do. And, and uh, you'd think that they could use some of the information, like for instance, that I I never ever 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 open up any of these folders ever. I have the last you know the last time I I looked in here uh, I think it was you know last month. But uh, this is where it likes to start me up all the time. You know, you'd think it could figure out. That every single session I spend all of my time in this, sorry, in, you know, either in this folder or this folder or this folder, you know, three folders. You can figure that out. So instead, what I have is well, I got rid of a thing called libraries. I have no idea what that is. And I put, okay, the places I usually go to in here. Now, 
That helps a little because watch this. I decided to set my projects to something called links. And links somehow is my favorite. See? When I add something to links, like for instance, now I can go to like my project directory where I'm doing my work. See? There's our, there's our projects. Or if I want, uh, you know, um, well, I don't have it listed here, but I can easily list uh, my other project directory. It should go in there. Uh, sometimes I like to go in here to look for an icon or something. So, yeah, this is a great project directory. Set that equal to your favorites. Let's see if it actually adds it. Uh, I don't want to go there, of course, because I've never no idea what's in there. Uh, <clears throat> oh, back backups should be in there. It is. I don't remember who it listed. So, aside from tutorials and temp, I sometimes go here. I'm going to add this to my favorite. Put that up here. All right. Now the big question is: It's there. It's just a you know it's a funny spot, but it's there. So now I can see I can get to my project. Because I've set my projects to a, to a place where it, that links to places that I use. Like I often go here. This is where this video will end up eventually. And here's my event that will eventually get glued onto this. Anyway, venting, venting, venting. Okay, okay, now this is I have just a pet peeve and I have to get it off my chest. Now, control open. It used to be shift tag would take you into a little list thing of items. Okay, no, it's not taking me there. It's taking me to this thing that I don't care about. Okay, now I'm getting tab. You no, know, escape. Where, you know, of all the places, where do you think I want to go? You know, in this window, what, what might, oh, there, I finally got it. You know what I'm saying? Now, if there were just some way to get there in one step, come on, there must be a way. Tab, 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 Oh, how many tabs is that? Yes, yeah, that was open. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. It takes nine tabs to get into this list. Nine, that's nine. Now, now I do it backwards. One, two, two. Oh, I can get it in two. Okay, problem solved. Anyway, I'm rambling. I'm trying to find the rest of the control. Everything. No, here. Everything that appears in here, I would like to have a, a little class for. <clears throat> well, not this. I think we kind of did that. Checkbox, right? Uh, a thing. It's a, it's a two valued thing. Uh, radio buttons. I, I have some code for that somewhere. Tree controls. That's difficult to do. 
Extended combo box. That probably means that if you have pictures, you know, like this thing of mine. You see how I got these little icons in, in here? This, this is a list box, but it has icons in it. And you have to do special things to make those icons appear. It's not trivial. Or even worse. I'm going to cut a lot of this out, I guess, later. You remember I showed you that game? My first task was to get it to go on Windows mode. My second task was to do this. Now this thing, when, what it's going to do, it's a... Uh, not so bad nowadays because you can't like a, a, for a, a, a modern a modern monitor okay has no palleted mode how do you, how do you see the the uh, uh, color setting Okay, see, well, oh, okay, there's true and high. You can have high color if you want, which is 16 bit. And that's not too bad, that's that's okay. Uh, but, uh, let's see now. Suppose you, you want to make, you want to make your own level for this game. So I got this little control panel. I can make move with the window and see it inside here. Going to one of these things, you can select these various things. Now all this, all this is, is a list, a list, one of those list controls, all right? Now if you change the display resolution, you might change it to palleted or something. Then you got to do a hell of a lot of work to to make this appear properly again. Of course I could have just let it crash or something, you know, instead. But I, I managed to get it to work. And you know, you, you can sort of you, you select it and then you, you know I can, I can enter should add one. Oh, oh, enter is copy, right? See, I sort of paint with them. It's uh, paint here, or clone. And then you can add a source. Laser beam, you know. Change its color. Like that. And do the various things. All these different tools have different meanings. Now how do I, how do I, I don't even realize, remember how to work this thing. Oh no, that's the total level. Level one. Cursor action. Paint. I see I'm painting with them. Or I can just clone anyway it's, it's a, it's a, it works better with the keyboard but once see one thing you can do though is you could copy you know okay yeah let's change it and then you can paste see if that's the whole thing Etc. 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 But it's this little box that is the real major hassle. Okay, this all stuff uh, rambling. I might cut a few things out.